Of course, Prabhupada lived in Allahabad for a number of years and he had a business there. And uh, he told us also later that he donated the deities there. I remember what struck me when we went there that day was there was Prabhupada in the lead and then there was eight or nine rickshaws following behind again like little ducklings. Wherever he went, we followed behind. That was our relationship. Never never knowing exactly the full significance of what, what Prabhupada was doing, but uh, as I said before, looking back now, it was it's clear to me that Prabhupada knew exactly. Uh, it was like a great campaign that he had planned and, and been carrying out. The Rupa Guru Math in Allahabad, this was a, a most exciting event for all of uh, Srila Prabhupada's Western disciples. Not only were we attending a program with Srila Prabhupada, but we were attending a program at a temple that he was very instrumental in serving in the years before he left India, when he lived in Allahabad. Ah, oh, here's your, the deities. We were all aware of the fact that Srila Prabhupada had in his business years, arranged for the Archa Vigraha at this mandir, the Radha and Krishna deities, it was uh, his service. This is in fact one of the first Archa Vigraha that I ever saw a photo of in my entire life when we were in San Francisco in 1967. And some very early photos were sent from Calcutta taken by Achyutananda and uh, Ramanuja Brahmachari, we had a photograph of these deities that were sent to us in San Francisco. And so it was one of the first Radha and Krishna deities that I ever saw from India. So they always remain very dear to me. Srila Prabhupada was very proud of the fact that of all these pandals that the Magmela that year None attempted a deity worship program of Radha Krishna Archa Vigrahas but ours. So we became very famous for even that aspect of, of our presence. The Archa Vigraha was Sri Sri Radha Madhava. Prabhupada, on another day, he took us all through, not all of us, but I know I was with him, and uh, we drove through the city, and he pointed out different places where he lived and where his business was and <clears throat> things like that. I remember one day Prabhupada told us that uh, many yogis come here and some of them are very old, up to 300 years, and he said that uh, that they uh, appear just like young young boys, so you wouldn't recognize them. He said two, two came to see him and they, they told him that they lived in the jungle with some tigers. <laughs> I remember being amazed because it was the first time Prabhupada spoke about <laughs>